the heavyweight champion of the world. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? RealFansRealTalk.com Where Arthur Diamond's trick young and intern Tom For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand Sports, <laughs> gossip, all the hot topics hey, hey. RealFansRealTalk.com got it uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers Did Jeremy Lin hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking about the greatest yeah, yeah. Go check out the archive even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk .com. I'm out one. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk .com. Uh, Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk .com. Real fans, real talk. What's going on? Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans, Real Talk. Y'all know how we move, man. It's always some surprise going on here. But, uh, man, it's been a busy week in sports. Yes. Odell is out of New York. Maybe on Bell is in New York. It's just a whole lot going on. And then, of course, you know, we got some special guests in the building today. But uh, before we jump into all of that crazy nonsense that went on in the NFL this week, let me introduce my co host, the one and only Mark the Statman. Scavenge, what's up, man? Great to be back for another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. As you mentioned, Odell Beckham is gone. They signed Golden Tate, not really a replacement for Beckham, but we'll get into it's all somebody. that later on. It's feasible. Ladybug back in the starting lineup, though. What's going yeah, on, what's going bug? on? Um, you know, after still celebrating my birthday, it's Pisces season. You already know. Um, it was great being in Miami. It was my first time, but you know, I had to come back, seeing what's going on with this foolery in sports and in gossip. And you know, I'm over Tristan. Me and Tristan had a conversation. I DM'd him low key. I'm not gonna be on Red what's Table on Talk. DMing him? Because that's what got him in trouble the first time. No, it first didn't. Time no, because y'all know Ladybug. Ladybug is bold. Do you know how bold I am? I said, excuse me, sir. I like your name too much to be carrying yourself this way. So all I'm saying is that I had to come back to New York. Because in Miami, it was too mixy. It was too crazy. Y'all don't know how to conduct yourselves when I want to go away for a few days. So I had to come back and regulate. So I'm here now. I seen y'all snaps and y'all social media platforms. Stop being nasty when Ladybug wants to enjoy a vacation. That's all I'm saying. I just wanted 72 hours to just be cool. But y'all don't know how to act, so mama had to come back home. That's it. Regulate. That's it. I'm excited right now because... They had your boy all in the videos, all at the studio. <laughs> That's you see, why, it's your fault. I need to talk. It's your fault. So <laughs> it's Dino's was, fault. Yeah, yeah. Y'all seen the y'all seen on the ground. We've been posting up. Uh, you know, Dino called us out. You know, this is a this is a alumni member of Real Fans Real Talk here. Mm -hmm. He called us out. You know, so I had to go out and represent. They must. Have, I told her they see me on you know on Vince Merrick playing the undercover. You know, agents and doing all this that type true. of stuff. So he needed me to come through play an undercover cop. I said okay for you, Dino. I will get back into my acting groove and I'll play this, uh, Got this, him this hype. Uh, undercover cop. I was yeah, I was in there. Got him in his bag. I, I was yo. They was hitting me up. Your fault. I'm telling you, the DMs got flooded after they sent that little clip. You, you know what I'm saying? The DMs got flooded again. I said yo, y'all got to chill. It was just one video. I'm not coming out of retirement just yet. You know what I'm saying? But Dino, what's up, man? <laughs> Everything's everything. Nah, your fault. No, I'm mad. We got beef now. I try to go away for three days. You gonna call it for a video? Listen. And that's not true, cause you call it for a video when I'm not in 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 town. Lady, I got know, something was, for you. Was an under, I was playing was an undercover purpose. cop. You know you can't play an undercover cop. It was all coordinated. I'm sure there was a role somewhere in there for Lady Bug. There was. I couldn't be an undercover cop. Why not? Because you're not undercover copy. Okay, you got you. It's you know how you doing? You see, you're not saving yourself. You're not saving yourself. What's going on, love? How you been? I've been great. I've been great. It's I a pleasure. See. Like I said, it's a pleasure to be here, man. And let me. Where do I start with that? Because Mark was supposed to be a part of that too, but Mark was. Mark had core problems that Mark day. Mark had other issues, you know, going on. Mark um, was supposed to be a part we, of the are force. Are we getting into that? <laughs> no, we are gonna do this off the air. We're not gonna. We, this has to get talked about Listen. amongst each other before we bring this out. Listen, well, the beard doesn't. The cops don't have beards. Oh my beard god! Oh my too, god! So. You see, we not gonna. This is this a is new not, guy right here. <laughs> 
it's not the same this guy. This is but why people get traded. It's definitely, see? it's this definitely always a spot guys. for you, Lady Buck. Always. See, there it's you always go. love though. You, no, it was your you fault. Know. You chose to go to Miami when you did. It was my birthday. Excuse me. So move your birthday. For two days and then go to Miami. You see, do you understand why me and Trip? Do you, you see, when Trip says Ladybug bu bullies him, this is because he says things you like that. You do though. So I'm just listening. I'm just where I'm coming from. Change my birthday, Trip. All right. I'm just saying. If you wanted anyway, to be in the video, you should have changed your birthday. Anyway, so going Eric into Sanchez this video. Wasn't in the video either, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you yeah. Know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Shout out there. <laughs> Oh, that, <laughs> yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I find out four hours. That's crazy how y'all how y'all treat me, man. This is why you talk okay, about things. Okay, I wanted things. my cameo. Whatever, I wanted my cameo. Oh, so okay. we need a spinoff? That's a joke. Yeah, no, we, we need a we, remix. Yeah. Remember, we we'll have a separate conversation, a exchange remix. info. Don't send anything through trip because it never trickles so down. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. How y'all? Do you know we need a remix? You heard how he started. First I'm all up in the videos now. Nah, that's that's what he wanted it to be about. Yo, you know what I'm saying? It's what the people, it's good. When the people were asking. They were sitting me up, and then I, you know, when Dino said, "Joe, I need you to come out." First of all, I drove. I was in Boston. All right, I drove Facts. all the way back from Boston just to make sure I made it out to the video because I did. I wanted. I'm sure you had your I, wardrobe and everything with you in Boston. I had my wardrobe ready. All right, all right, that's what I'm saying. I got, so you I got you my, my, my undercover outfit. You know I was, I was getting my J. Reed on. Talk later. Man, what we got? I was getting my J. Reed on. I was getting my J. Reed on in the video. Had the little, you know how they had it on power. They got the when the text come up on the screen. Had all that in there. I was moving and grooving, basically, is what I'm saying. You know, in the video. We know you're in mourning right now. You got your Giants jersey on. I already know what the first topic is, so let, let's get ahead. Let's get to it, man. I mean, Odell Beckham, we mentioned at the top of the program, he go, goes to the Cleveland Browns. I mean, we, uh, to look on the bright side of things, this is <laughs> That's the only all thing you, you can, can say. Do. That's literally. I don't even know what this I've never seen you speechless. You know, <laughs> yeah, like. I mean, is it, it hurt, he, it he hurt hasn't me. been hurt playing me. every game in the season. He has, has his little injuries and stuff. I mean, he's still a great wide receiver. We, we he still get has time. Golden no, tape for half the salary. He still has a long I mean, time in his career, so I mean, it's a salary why cap not world. now? It's not a, I don't think it's a salary cap move. I mean, he's super talented. No, like, it's, let's it's not, not just that, but there's also... No, because they still got to pay on some of that, so it's right. not a salary cap. Right, it's it's not, not, that's what I'm saying. It's not a salary cap. other stuff, you know, they say he might be a distraction. I, I don't know. I don't, wouldn't really consider it too much of a distraction, but, you know, what, he, those one-handed he, he, catches are distracting people. I don't understand. Because nobody in Cleveland like, does that? Nah, that's nah, why it's nah, distracting? Nah, but that was come four on. years you got, ago. Right, you guys are... Hold on, y'all, because I see a Cowgirls fan in the background hating right well, now. Well, it's, I just want to put that out there that the, it's you know, a, um, the Cowgirls is hating. It, this ahead, is one of them situations because there's rival fan bases in the building. Yeah. Right? So, you know, obviously Cliff with the Eagles. And then the Cowgirls. The King is in the building representing the star. The Cowgirls is in the building. You know, so... Yeah. It isn't a salary saying, cap dump. Like, oh, no, it's, 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 the, it's, it's not a, a salary cap but dump because it's, it's the right the money. But yeah. honestly, I'm, I may be in the minority about this. It's the right move to make. He I don't care how I don't care how talented Odell Beckham is. You guys went five and eleven back to back years. Mm -hmm. Having the best receiver in the game does not guarantee you anything. You guys need to fill other holes within that team. The defense isn't where it needs to be. The O line needs to get much better. And you know what? They traded a bunch of pieces off of the defense too, yeah. but they were expensive pieces right. as well. So you get we'll rid of see. Olivier Vernon, it was it was worth getting rid of him. Yeah. But you guys still have other weapons on offense. Saquon, first round pick. Evan Ingram, first round pick. Sterling Shepard's a solid receiver. Yeah. So you throw Golden Tate in the mix, you actually still have pieces. And I had to they wear the Eli Manning together. jersey because a lot of my friends out there on social media are, oh, we're trading this guy, trading this guy, but we're keeping Eli. And it's like. But Eli has who, no trade value. Yeah, who, who are you going to get for Eli? Who are we going to get for him, Blake number Bortles? one? And number two, who are you going to get to replace Eli? Like, well, everyone gonna, makes it seem like you could just get hopefully a quarterback. You, hopefully, and hopefully you listen and draft a quarterback this year. Say that again. And Hopefully you guys listen for once and get a quarterback well, this no, year. Last year was the right move uh, drafting uh, Saquon. I was okay that, with that. that well, once Baker was off that. the yeah. board, yes, I agree. Honestly, but they I'm still not, not working well together. together so, so it's Baker like Baker wouldn't have did good for the Giants. What are they really doing? Because they Baker. don't have an O line anyway. He wouldn't did. He wouldn't did nothing. So better. you're telling me I would have rather taken Saquon Barkley than than a quarterback the, in this year's draft. The Browns were in worse shape than the Giants going into last season. And all Baker Mayfield did was set a new touchdown passing record for rookie quarterbacks and lead a team that had gone from back. They had won one game in two years. They won seven games with him they as a also starter. Have they have a better Odell Beckham's the former Browns. teammate Jarvis Landry over so, there and other pieces also. The running so. game, I mean, the, the, the totality of weapons on, on offense <coughs> in the Giants weren't better than what the, the Browns had? They were hurt. Baker Mayfield wasn't the only one. Beckham played most of the year. So did Ingram, so did Shepard. Ingram, no, Ingram, he didn't have that. Ingram, he didn't have that collection of receivers. He had Jarvis Landry line. and a the bunch. Line is horrible. The Browns Still. didn't have much of a line either. It's better than the Giants. 
Now it's better. Don't than take the must be better than the Giants. Now it's better than the you Giants. You see, he it does that New York bias though. That's that New it York take, bias that you, Trip does. You guys he sat here. You guys sat here when you took Saquon. You thought that was the missing piece you needed. I got the video too. First of all, Cliff, don't bring up all stuff. You bring up all stuff again, Cliff. Right now, please. You bring up all stuff. Thank you, Mr. Clifford. With the roster we had on paper, we should have been a contender. I said from day one, when no one else, when no one else was on on this side of the fence. I said from day one, Baker Mayfield was the best quarterback in that draft. You did. I, I said the Giants should take that. Baker Mayfield. Now, he wasn't on the board, so it wasn't an option. But they still the quarterback position is far more important than a running back position. You're right. But you I can plug and play at running back. Not that big of a fan of so I hope you guys Gino, do the right bring, thing. Bring you back He's into this. Okay. Right, he don't want to. He don't want to hear the truth. He don't want to hear the truth. He don't want to hear the truth. You found out that Odell one was traded. Okay, what was your, what was going through your mind? <sighs> Downhill. Here comes the Giants downhill. Once you lose a guy like Beckham, everything goes. But how much further downhill? You already everything. five and eleven. You worse. already. It gets worse. All right, so you're gonna fall <laughs> two more it steps. Worse. You already fell down a whole flight <laughs> of steps. You, you two steps away. You two steps. Right. You two steps on the bottom anyway. You might as well fall away down. Both the Rams and the Patriots don't have a top five receiver, but they have a lot of depth, and they made the Super Bowl. Thank you. Thank you. Historically. Having the best receiver gets you nothing. Antonio Brown's a great receiver. What has it got in Pittsburgh? Julio Jones is a great receiver. What has it got in Atlanta? Well, it does all, not guarantee you anything. Was, you need depth. Thomas and the Saints. I was, I, was, I, was, I was hurt by the trade. That's but it. I, but but, you're, already, politics, but you're already in a big market. market. Yeah. You're already in a big market. You don't need the extra revenue. Yeah, you need to win. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's I was, I was hurt because I, I do like Odell. The franchise but goes. when I saw, all right, um, you know, with the, with the Giants got back, I mean, you got a first, second, and third round draft pick. So now you got the sixth and the seventeenth pick in the first round, and then the same thing in the second and the third round. I think those picks are going to be really good for the Giants, and um, and and they got a really good defensive player uh, in that in that deal to come in and fill in a little bit for um, for for Landon Collins being out. Uh, Peppers. He's a he's an animal, something different. The, um, I saw I right. saw him I saw him play uh, against Rutgers, and they they had the the highest uh, win uh, difference on that team in the history of the school. And he played offense, defense, and special teams. Nice. So I'm actually nice. excited about him coming to the Giants. I don't think it's going to be as big of a loss that we don't have Odell back. I do agree with you uh, on that. I don't think it's going to be that crazy. I think that Golden Tate is a, is a, is a feasible. He's not Odell Beckham Jr. by no means. But he's fe- he's a feasible receiver, and he's he's a good veteran in the locker room. So I think he'll do good with with uh, with, with Shepard and, and Ingram. Hopefully Ingram can stay healthy this season. And, I mean, I, I think that Saquon will be the best running back in football if not, if not this year, definitely by next year he'll be the best one. So we got to nip this in the butt. The question is, and the question everybody's going to want to know is, what is everybody's individual feelings about the Giants here on out? I think it's, it's a great move. Odell won. It wasn't just the antics. They were starting to mount. He okay. got his money last year and immediately did an interview with ESPN where he's trashing Eli Manning. No matter how you feel about yeah, Eli Manning, just say that Eli too. Manning is the greatest quarterback the Giants have ever had. And you're sitting there trashing him. And his antics were starting to trickle down to other players. Yeah. Sterling Shepard had a little spat on the sideline last year because he's looking at Odell and thinking, I could do the same thing. Yeah. You acting up, you throwing your helmet, you kicking the kicking net and all this. I could do the same thing. You, There's no way you could bring a young quarterback around Odell Beckham and think it was going to be positive. No way. Yeah, and I think the Giants will draft a quarterback with one of those two picks. I'm, hope, I'm hoping it's the sixth pick in the draft. I, I do hope they, they take yes. Kyler Murray. I, I want to see what he can do in the, in the NFL. And I think that... Like you said, without Odell, Odell being there, if Kyler Murray starts off slow, it's over. It's going to be a wrap because he's going to be talking crazy. Okay, not to cut you off, but even with this said quarterback that's going to be drafted, how are we feeling about this team moving forward? Like, are they still going to – are they – do, do they we feel like they work – They have a ton of draft work? picks. we got to see who they draft and, yeah. the, you know, and that's what the I'm other saying. moves. It's still way too early. We don't a know A lot of people are giving like. Odell this team's – credentials and I get it he's franchise player he's good market value whatever it's the same you. people who are but mad that Porzingis left too like you know it's, it's like, like a well, New York curse though in a sense yeah. like it becomes like okay this one person's leave we're doomed yeah, but we the, suck I, I just don't like, I don't understand the emotional outrage like the team has already been bad it's not like the Giants were on the cusp of greatness and it's like all right now we're getting rid of Odell yeah the That's team the has team. missed the playoffs for four straight seasons yeah, I mean, so you know, I mean, that's, that's, what was you know, he really giving you? Well, well the one thing weird. he was given is the other guys, Ingram, Shepard. They were dropping a lot of big passes, and when it came to third down, Eli could rely on Beckham 
because he was the only one that could physically yeah. not drop the ball. Clutch. So, uh, I mean, Golden That's Tate, important. you know, he was great with the Lions. Didn't really play that much last year with the Eagles, but, you know, he had some big plays. He's a veteran, but he's obviously nowhere near as talented. But, we, you know, I think... I wish him the best. I think Eli yeah. would do, could do all right with the receiving core that he has, but, you know... He's going to do better still, with Cleveland, though. That's I wish him oh, the best. Of course. Because him and Joe Davis Landry would be... Right. Right. With, 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 with Chubb, and, and, team with Chubb and possibly Kareem Hunt as a running back, I mean, they've got great offense weapons. It's a great yeah. situation for him to go to. He's going to see a lot of single coverage. Yeah. A lot of single coverage, he'll have a lot of highlights. But for the Giants, it's the right move. They got Hunt, That's the best top Landry, two combo in the, Easily. in the league. Easily. Yeah. And Tripp wants Kyler Murray. I think you guys should take Dwayne Haskins from Ohio State. I think he's the better prospect. So keep that on record as well. I think Haskins out of Ohio State is the quarterback that the Giants should be targeting. But it's, I think there's only going to be two quarterbacks that come out in, uh, in the first round of the draft um, anyway. And it will be one of those two. So I think, I mean, either one of those two guys, I think the Giants will be good, hopefully. <laughs> things are paying out. They still need some help on the offensive line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I thought they had got a little better last season. Apparently, they didn't. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a long way uh, way back for the for the Giants anyway. But I think depending on how how the draft looks, I do like the extra picks that they got. So uh, you know, we gotta wait and see. Like you said, that man with the uh, with, with the draft. Um, I want I want to jump back really quick, Dino. Um, I want to talk about this new single because it wasn't supposed to be it's a single, but you turned it into a whole little mini yeah, movie kind of situation. <laughs> yeah. So just uh, just talk to us about it, about the about the project. Well, this yeah, it's called um, the felony rap. It was actually a freestyle, you know, no court, no hook, you know, just bars. Yeah. You know, and it's um, it was a mixtape cut, mm -hmm. but um, the significance behind it for me even still pushing it was. Mainly God bless the dead, my man DJ Rough Hands from um, Queens. Mm -hmm. He wanted us to shoot the video uh, two years, like right before he passed. And um, we never got a chance to shoot it. Like he was pushing for it. So I figured I, I'll make up for it. Even though it's two years late, I'll make up for it. And it just so happened that, you know, so many ideas just kept coming to my mind from listening to it over and over, even though it was like, so quick, it was just a freestyle. It was like, wow, you could really make something out of this, you know. And then a musical came to my mind as I'm writing a little uh, treatment for it. I'm like, wow, this this could turn into more than just a music video. Exactly. Like this could be, you know what I'm saying? It's I don't visual even, nowadays. Right. That's what it is. A lot right. of people they won't hear it, but if you can engage them, it's just like they glued. Most like, most so definitely. That's definitely what it is on that point, but. Um, you said two years now, right? Yeah. So was there like a lot of like tweaks and cuts? Were there a lot of things that didn't make the cut? Like how was that, you know, uh, what you call it, like that reviewing process, that, that final edit cut process? Well, for that particular, for that. Yes. Um, it, was, it was just more so of just ping-ponging with the director. He was like, uh, I don't think this will fit or, you know, you know how it go. Maybe this will fit because I had so much ideas for it that I was just letting it flow. Like, it was just coming to mind. Even while we was on set, we was just yeah. improv. The improv was that. just crazy. So it was just like, all right, this will make more sense. And then not having Mark on, on hand, too, kind of made it, <laughs> altered it. So. That was, you see that was, you see how they do that? So that's, that's you effort. That. You had a vision with Mark there. And then was there a treatment? That's my only question. Was there a treatment? Yeah, it was There was a an treatment. official treatment and y'all just called audibles? It was a treatment. Okay, so this then was, you was, can't was, be mad. Exactly. Treatment. Not Mark's fault. There was a treatment. I know Mark was probably a part of that treatment, yeah. but Listen. at least I had that part down. Stop it, Trip. I Trip mean, is an instigator. Was there for me and me <laughs> See, you right. did not, he, you he, did he, not he, abide by wait. the contract, and the contract yeah. was nothing. He was waiting boy. out front for the limo and never I pulled was, up. It was an Uber pool. That's what happened. And, oh, <laughs> man. You know, Only on real, real fans, real talk, ladies like, and like gentlemen. Line, I, I ain't going to do the Uber pool. And that's how that whole thing played out, you know? But, uh, but it, it got done, and you got the you got the flashback, so you're going kind of back and forth throughout the uh, oh, right. like, the entire, so. entire video. So just tell us, because first of all, you you almost get taken out a couple of times in this video. Right. All right. And then you got the <laughs> undercover cops in there about to take you down, you know. Right. So there's a lot you got going on here. Yeah, exactly. And, the, you know, it's being that it's um, it's so short of a song, like, it, le it left room 
for a spinoff. That's why I said, you know, you guys, we might could work on a spinoff because we didn't even get a chance. Oh, thank you, Trip. Oh, thank you. We didn't even get a chance. Oh, thank you for thinking of us. How generous of you. Right. We didn't even get to get to the <laughs> chance with a with a detective fulfilled it, you know, his what he was really there for. It yeah. just showed you and it was like an excerpt. It basically just showed you what could come of this scenario. Yeah, you know I didn't get saying? to like as a, you know as the cop, I didn't get to get in an interrogation room, throw nobody against the wall, slam them against the wall. Well, desk. that's what I was gonna ask you. That action that. seems like how was that part? Because a lot of people don't know how to do that. But was there it like, was light know, action? You know, subtle. Yeah, it was light action. Subtle, you know, shaking real quick. All, a lot of people take that personal stuff, side to ask. <laughs> that, when you almost get shaked, that is not described as light action. Right. Well, you can't you know, give it away. You see, we gonna watch it. We gonna. So you can't give it away. I'm just saying that's not light action. You got tripping his bag, thank That's you, all Dino. I'm saying. I was out there. He got, got, he got yo, the man, big. Up in streets, yo. They was out he got there the really big rings on know, today was, after this video. Really rocking on any block, Let's you know? put this video on. That's how you not said. Not yet. We not. We not going. No, we not ready yet. We not going into the video just yet. We you getting me? I'm ready. Man, we got some other things went down in football, so we not ready just yet. Okay. Well, you could bring it up since it's your Ravens. They did. The Ravens <laughs> went out. They got. You know, I was a little. I was a little upset because uh, you know my man T Sizzle, Ball So Hard University. You know, is not going to be a member of the Baltimore Ravens, and uh, C.J. Mosley is not going to be yeah, a part of the really. Baltimore Ravens. But they did bring in Earl Thomas, uh, which I'm excited about. Hopefully, he can stay healthy um, this uh, this season because they're gonna. He's going to be there for a little while. They also brought in Mark Ingram. Another guy who I, I hope stays healthy, but when he is healthy, he is uh, one of the, the the better running backs in the league. So I, I'm liking that for the Ravens. Lamar Lamar Jackson is going to be a year better. Um, you know, he's got that experience. You don't have to worry about Joe Flacco over the shoulder because you guys know he's going to be uh, in Denver this coming season. So I'm I'm, I'm liking uh, you know the moves that the Ravens made this season. I can't complain, man. I I, I love it. Um, and then of course we got like I, said, I mentioned earlier, Le'Veon Bell to the Jets. Yep. I'm, I'm happy yeah. for him. Y'all know how I kind of said about that it. was one of the spots he might go to. Yep. Yep. Cut the check. You know how that's how we feel. We love when the brothers get paid. He took. He did what he had to do. He took the year off. Um, you know, he 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 did not risk. Injury. He didn't get what he wanted, but well, he you know, got 35 he million guaranteed. You know, as an older running back, that's that's really good because really I mean, good. he's 27. He's not, a, he's not an older running back. At, at the running back <laughs> position, that's old. I mean, that's, no, he he still did the right thing. He gambled on himself. It still worked out. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think he still end up getting a little bit more guaranteed in this deal. Yeah. Granted, he gave up the fourteen plus million from last from year that last, he would have got, yeah. but he still came out good. And as far as the Ravens, if he I think he played last season and he played healthy, he probably would have even gotten more. Uh, maybe, but yeah, it wasn't worth the risk. You know. Well, well, yeah, because I mean, look what, what happened with Earl, uh, right. Earl Thomas. He wanted he wanted out. He said, you know what, I'm going to play. He goes out for the season. Mm -hmm. right. He still got his contract granted, but you know, sometimes, like you said, you got to gamble on yourself. He gambled. And I mean, outside of you know him playing for the Jets, financially he's nah, going to be set. Was, he should be set now. It was the right move. I mean, yeah. um, because we got a Cowboys fan in the building, it's only Cowboys, right I referenced this Cowboys, this point. Excuse you. Um, and he, he'll Thank tell you, you when okay. the last big time running back that was ready to approach free agency was Demarco Murray, mm -hmm. and the Cowboys ran him over four hundred times that year. Yeah. Like they ran him into the dirt and then didn't resign him. He's never been the same since. So yeah. Le'Veon kind of knew. If I go back, Pittsburgh is going to use and abuse me here. And then let me hit the market, and I'm never going to be the same. Exactly. He still got he fresh made, legs, he so made the right choice. Right, absolutely. You know, you gotta, you got you gotta respect it. We got some news for Cliff, the Eagles fan. His boy Nick Foles is over in uh, the Jaguars. Oh, Eagles have done well though. They Eagles did. have done very well. Carson Wentz go yeah. down again this year, so <laughs> they're gonna be in bad shape. Yeah, but they, I mean, how long but you gonna keep dragging doing it out? Well, with Nick Foles, because they didn't do good. That's what I'm saying. But now Nick they don't Foles have a backup at all. Yeah, but he, he was, it was really his first year back from the injury. He got a chance to get healthy towards the end of the year. I think, plus, you have to make the decision. You, at some point, you got to put your foot down and be like, all right, it's Wentz's team. Well, when do we say he's injury prone? At what point do we give him that? Uh, no, he's injury prone. <laughs> I mean, we can, <laughs> he's been injured every year, well, so he is injury prone. I say they should have traded if he go, Wentz. If he, go, if he, no if way. If he goes, down, no if he goes down, down again this season, what do the Eagles do? Uh, you ride it out with whoever's your backup. Yeah, I guess you're right. Right. They, they better pray pray from this up. field goals. Like right, the Bears. right. Exactly. But you can't keep two quarterbacks making that type of money no, no, on the you, roster. You're so. absolutely right. Um, I, I, for Nick Foles, I think it's a great move going to the Jaguars. I mean, if they can get back to 
where they were a season ago um, when they were one of the top teams in the AFC. Now they actually have a quarterback that can win football games, throw the football mm -hmm. down the field, score a touchdown. They got you know pretty good That's defense. Exactly. They got uh, Fournette over there. Nick they, Foles in his press conference seemed to be really excited, like that's the team he wanted to go to. Yeah, he gets to go to, we, the, to the nice warm heat. Right, I mean, we it's, heard it's the a same good thing team. from Landon Collins signing with the Redskins. Oh, I really wanted to play with the Redskins. It's like, like, well, Landon, no, like, you Landon, no, no, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, everybody says the same thing. In the Landon press, is a little oh, different really though because he he idolized Sean Taylor. Like he's yeah. even well, he's trying yeah, to petition to wear know. Sean Taylor's yeah. number. Yeah. So that that might be a situation where he from a distance may have been a Redskins fan just because of Sean yeah. Taylor. Mm -hmm. So I mean, maybe right, R. P. Sean Taylor. So, but. Nick Foles, you know, any anybody who's paying you twenty two million, you happy to be there. Exactly. Let's let's call it what yeah, it is. Basically. Yeah, he got a lot right? of money. <laughs> so he got twenty two mil immediately. I'm happy to be here. That's what I wanted to be. Happy and clear. Right. I mean, I he play in Alaska for twenty two million. Right, he play anywhere. He play anywhere. So he he don't care about that. But Jacksonville's gonna be interesting to see because they had to cut some guys to be able to fit him in. Yeah. Um Lee Jackson, who signed with the Eagles, was a big part of that defense. They had to cut him. They had to cut their right tackle to be able to bring in Nick Foles. So hopefully and Fournette is actually in a dispute with them because remember they don't want to pay him his bonus he was supposed to get because he got suspended that game last year. So that that might be a tricky situation there as well. But hopefully Nick Foles plays well and that defense still has a lot of pieces on it. Yeah. And other news for uh, our director Cliff uh, Deshaun Jackson uh, back in Philly again. Uh, not not a big fan of him uh, as a Giants. Fan. Yeah, he, he's tortured you guys he for for a couple us years. He disrespected us, you know. But it's, it's all good. Because when, when Wentz gets hurt again, he ain't got no quarterback anyway, so it don't matter. We getting into the video or we're moving on to the... We're going to talk a little bit of basketball, and then we're going to have the video cool. uh, for you guys. All right. Um, we got some NBA uh, action, uh, some stuff well, I know you want to talk about. It's, it's not still really basketball on. action, but, you know, we have a couple of fan incidents. We have one with Russell Westbrook. Uh, with the Jazz, yeah. he's uh, banned indefinitely and then suing Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. And I have he an honest laugh. question here. He wants to laugh. I have an honest question here because the fan <laughs> said to him, on your knees like you're used to, and Russell Westbrook said that's racist. I I'd like to know how that's racist because I, I, I don't get that. I, well, I mean, unless he was saying, you know, sexist. Um, you know, he was using the wrong term, term probably. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I'm not going to try to say what he was saying, but unless he was saying, you know, when black people would, would have to kneel down and get deep, right. I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's talking about the, giving head or something, you know. Well, yeah, but I, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't was know thinking what, more he, in a sexual he, he, manner yeah. also, if he, he wanted to go have, politically correct. Right, he may have, or, you know, uh, again, we don't really know. This is Russell Westbrook saying word right, but for Russ, word. But Russ yeah, didn't go into is. the details of the whole conversation. Yeah. Like, because there were things that were set up to that point as yeah, well. So I'm that sure if been, there was something racist, someone else in the crowd probably would have beaten the dude up. So, I mean. Well, uh, Utah, no, not in Utah, so bro. Think, not somebody, in Utah. Yeah. Not in Utah. They probably would have been nah. with the. Because, I mean, when they showed nah. the other video last season, with they kept calling him boy. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Like, People just think like with Russell Westbrook, like he's the guy that you can get under his skin and make mm -hmm. a, a viral moment out of it. So I don't know if they this is why they keep tar targeting. Oh, absolutely. Westbrook. I know he had a situation. I'm gonna exclude the one with the with the little kid, um, that that touched him by mistake and because he almost lost it there until he realized it was the, it was a kid. But Russell Westbrook does seem to get targeted. I mean, they know he's when an emotional when player. And they, that's what I was going to say. When they know they can get under you, skin, yeah, they're going to do it. That's clickbait. That's, that's yeah. the sixth Clout. man. The other sixth man on the court is the crowd. Like, you know, yeah, no when I was you get the lawsuit uh, in the Eastern that, Conference no Finals, I was screaming at Ron Artest, and he was missing free throws. Like, you know, help yeah. the Nets make it to the NBA Finals that year. Well, you know not what I'm get on your knees like you used to. Right. That's a bit well, much. You know, the you people know, want a reaction. Right, They're right. gonna yeah. say that, and in any type of entertainment field, this is what right. happens. Well, yeah, people but then they that. they also they show the screenshots of some old tweets mm -hmm. that uh, allegedly came from his account that were, uh, you know, a little bit very racist. inappropriate. Yeah. Go back um, where you came from with the yeah. mag, MAGA hashtag. Yeah, this is like, a hashtag and MAGA. People, and like, this wow. people want a reaction. Like, yeah. they people know, do you know, anything behind the keyboard, but let you not, really, gonna, exactly, did, let then, you really see yeah. who that is. And sometimes. Well, listen, I'm saying, I saw, first of all, the fact that they even interviewed him afterwards, which threw didn't me off help, a little bit, but right. I didn't, I sat there and watched that, and I didn't believe a word that he was saying. 
I told him to go sit down and ice his knees. You, come on, knock it off, bro. I mean, I just think the fact that yeah. the Jazz organization investigated it and quickly came back and said he's he's banned yeah. permanently. So I mean, they found been, some stuff. There must have been some they truth to that. They saw something. And they wanted to nip right. it in the bud fast. someone in that section. Before somebody else leaked Right. It, yeah. Really. Somebody so in that section must have told him, like, no, this is what he was saying. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it was inappropriate. And then, you know, when you see all the other and stuff pop up. Even today, there were a group of Utah fan, Utah Jazz fans who actually started a GoFundMe for Russell Westbrook to pay the fine. Mm -hmm. So there were other people in that section who knew what was going on, and they saw like right. it wasn't right. Russ yeah. got targeted, but all we saw was the reaction, his reaction on video. We didn't hear what the guy was saying. Because he's in the public eye, and that's Why what's up. Why did Russell Westbrook say exactly what he was saying? Because all I heard was him saying the get down on your knees comment. So. Again, we don't know everything that was yeah, said before that. Yeah, I don't know before, before. That's what we saw. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened before You know, he got there. But, I mean, again, I mean, you something know, had to be said because Russ isn't lashing out at just a fan sitting on a, on a court side. Yeah. Well... James Dolan banned somebody for a lot less. <laughs> well, I mean, James, James Dolan is a whole different that, situation. Yeah, you know, sure. we, we know we know something is going on in that man's. Uh, right. I, we, we he know. came out with a, with a cockamamie story too. Talking about oh. he was getting stalked. I don't, man. I can't believe James Dolan. For, well, Greg from Queens, right? Do you believe James Dolan's story that the uh, fan he banned was stalking him? Nobody's stalking James. Nobody's exactly. stalking James. Nobody's stalking James. Nobody's stalking James. Stalking you can see the video. He's not, he's All not, that he's, happens he's not that, is he's not that the guy's sitting in the lower section. He walks across two or three sections to get to the entrance area where the players and people come out of, which is where James Dolan was mm -hmm. going, yeah. which is what people do at games. You see a player right. going there. You go, you're at the fight, and you see the fighters come out wrestling match you go try to walk over there yeah. to talk to them mm -hmm. shake their hand whatever in this case with james dolan he said you know sell, sell the, the team, team. Yeah. do you really think i should sell the team he's like how would I you don't like to not so why would you get banned for life he from told, yeah, he sell told the team. dolan that his band sucked because you know yeah. dolan's in a little rock that's band. probably what it was, what it really it was. was he, a told he hurt his feelings yeah he said your music it wasn't nothing about the knicks right yeah and that's now that i believe that's what it really came back down to yeah i can believe Dolan took offense mm-hmm and now it's like, that guy's been stalking me. I'm not getting enough Spotify streams. This guy is really negative. This is why yeah. I'm not getting right. my repost. My band is really good. So, you don't know what you're talking exactly. about. Yeah. And he's still, he, bottom line, he's still he, not going to He's interrupting my booking on info. the video so, that it was yeah. preemptive because he crossed over a couple of sections yeah. to talk to them. So if he had been not, stalking you, why wasn't he banned from the arena? You would have known about him before that yeah, event, obviously. Right. But then the it's, interview that he had, he was all it was all weird. It's like... It's oh, Dolan. originally it's Dolan. I was gonna invite. <laughs> originally I was gonna invite him over and yeah, meet the team on. and you sound, you sound explain crazy. that everything's weird with you know, Dolan. Yeah. Things aren't that bad, yeah. but then I saw that he was stalking me, and then Everything. we had to ban. You remember a couple like, years you ago? You know how weird that sounds. Didn't Dolan exactly. ban a fan a couple? Oh, no, I'm sorry. He called a fan an alcoholic because the fan criticized his ownership regime yeah. with the Knicks about four years ago. That's so that guy was an alcoholic because he told you you're bad. First of all, you know you still supporting the Knicks? Excuse me. Excuse, me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's hard. Excuse man. me. I know. I know. You know what, Trips? You being an instigator. Listen, I, mean, I love the Knicks, but it's hard with this Dolan guy, up the man. Stop He does this every well, time. Well, Charles Oakley is using that in the uh, in his lawsuit, which is good news. So well, listen, I'm gonna how I, unreasonable I, I'm a, he is. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what. Um, all right, Dalen, Dolan, his music sucks. He's probably, I don't know, that's probably the only thing worse than his skills as an owner is his skills musically. But right. Dino, you got some quality music, all right? We don't and, have that uh, issue here today. We don't have we that good. issue. We we gonna, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play this uh, video here. I want you to intro the video, and just before you do, just give everybody at home all of your social media info so they can um, get it and let them know where they can find me if they need me for a scene or something for the future too. Uh, yeah, yo, check me out, Dino Money, on Google and uh, Instagram, D-K-N-O-M-O-N-E-Y, and this is uh, Felony Rap, the, the video, the freestyle, the musical, you know, starring my guy, Trip Young, real Come fans, on, real talk. streets, man, I mean, I'm out here, you yo. Know, holla up, at him if you want to, you know. Shout out to the king of DJ. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> if you want me, make sure the limo is outside him. <laughs> he does not Gotta do Uber pool, guys. He will not do Uber pool. Don't put this man in Uber pool. It's not going to happen. to this, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Call the lift. <laughs> Felony right. Wait, they didn't cut the check. Don't call him either. We need private car service. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whenever y'all ready in the back, man, play that video. Hey, you ain't selling my gun. What's up, man? 
need a green tea and lemon. Oh. It's a green tea and lemon. That's everything. I'm digging, I'm digging the curly hair. Y'all know what it is, New York, stand up, stand up, uh, 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 TK, uh, <laughs> Listening to this felony rap, shit, bro, and I just started you know that walking out. Oh, I didn't even know that was you over there, bro. Pardon me, man. We still live, man. It's Real Fans Real Talk. Make sure y'all follow on us, realfansrealtalk.com, facebook.com forward slash realfansrealtalk, Twitter, Instagram, at realfantalk, and of course, subscribe to that YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash for the fans productions. Now, we are back, and uh, we got the champ. The champ is in the building <laughs> again. Uh, the, the, the first ever uh, Balling for Peace dunk contest champion Maxwell Pierce is in the building. What's up, man? What's going on, Welcome guys? back. <laughs> he, oh, he, he also he is. current Harlem Globetrotter. That is right. a fact. Right. And founder of the finance yeah. group. Right. Exactly. So and, right. And, and, and last time you came here, that was right before the Harlem Globetrotter. Yeah. Now you've been out yeah. there. Okay. What I, first of all, you put in fear in the other dunkers. That's what I'm hearing around the campfire because you keep putting up these videos with dunks that I don't even like. You know, the NBA guys can't even do some of these dunks uh -huh. that you've been doing. Yeah, one he's touching his knee came up. Yeah, like, <laughs> like come on, bro, you you cheating, you cheating, you cannot intimidate the other dunkers this early before the dunk contest. All right, I'm just letting you know right now. What's up, man? Where, where are you getting the motivation for all these new dunks that you've been doing? It's just something that I think about so often. It's it's I have a mini hoop in my room. So whenever I'm not doing anything, or even if I'm just walking around, it could be really anywhere. Yeah. If something, like the slightest thing could inspire me for a new dunk, like looking at 
a building and its architecture, and it just made me think of something new. I, I don't know. You had the one where it was off the wall, off the arches, off Grimace's head, through the legs, <laughs> behind the back. Right. You did the 360 to the 7, uh, to, you know, was it 80 or something? He did. He turned around, stopped twice, right. came back, hit with it, and then came back on the reverse jam. I didn't know how the hell you did that, <laughs> one, bro. Talk to me. Come on, what's up, man? Well, are you ready? Are you ready for this year's dunk contest? Oh, yeah. Cause I, I, cause I definitely am. I see the clips. You get, you get I'm just right. saying. We I see you out yeah, here. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, see I told I told H two O earlier. I said we up the prize money. We are going up to five hundred this oh, year. Okay. So now that means you got to do the two K through the legs twice and then dunk it arm in the net. You okay. know, at least I need that in the first round, right? In the first round, all the way to the road. The elbows uh, played out yeah. all the way to the, the rotator the cuff. The second round. You got to dunk over everybody in real fans, real talk. Mm. Now, can you make it happen? I, I got we some props. other, we we <laughs> I got some other tricks dunk. in the bag. I don't, I don't know about all of that. All right, <laughs> th all right. You can dunk over two of us, all right, in that one, and do like a reverse alley-oop off the backboard, <laughs> bam, like that. That one? We'll talk after this. All right, you know what? <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot of process. It's a lot of process. I ain't going to say too I, I do have some new stuff, though. All right, all right. New stuff that I'm going to break we was, up. You know what? Concept. And I thought about it. We were supposed to have a hoop in here this time for you because we were supposed to do the dunk inside the live in the studio. We don't got the hoop this time, y'all. But, you know, we going to... We got... We you got hold your arms out like that. Exactly. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm going to stand on the table or something, and then you do the oop de loop dunk reverse off the camera, off uh, the cameraman's head, and then bam, dunk it, something like that. <laughs> Something yeah. like, oh, something can't, like. Oh, we can't, yeah, oh, wait, we got you. Like. I'm sorry, y'all. We can't do that in the studio. Nah, but but in all seriousness, since the last time you were on the show, like I said, the Globe Trotter announcement came right after yep. that. ESPN. Yes. Yeah. Right. A lot of touring, a lot of different cities. How much has things changed over the last year? A lot. Um, I, I would say the last 10, 10 months to a year have definitely been the most significant amount of improvement in my personal career, for sure. Well, that's what happens when you go on Real Fans Real Talk. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. So, Max, yeah. other than coming up here looking like my twin today, <laughs> uh, I want to hear more about your Flylands. I mean, fly that, okay. that part of your career outside mm -hmm. of basketball is something that I love. Mm -hmm. I was a student athlete as well. And I went through, like, a depression when I graduated because it was like, yeah. what's next? So what inspired you to, you know, create Yeah, that? so um, let me see. I mean, it... it a lot of this stuff pretty much stemmed through um, my progression as an influencer on Instagram. So after I got to a certain number of followers, I, I was thinking about what I could do with that amount of eyes looking at whatever content that I put out. So um, from there, I was like, okay, well, I know most of my followers are athletes. And, you know, growing up as an athlete, what things can I put out there that can help the younger athletes as they're coming up? So then I thought about all the things that I've seen, um, that I've witnessed as friends, having friends and teammates that have had successes and failures. And one of the main things was that guys, they get to the end of their career mm -hmm. and then they're like, okay, I don't know what to do next. Yeah. And so as soon as I figured that out, I was like, okay, that, that's what I want to dedicate mm -hmm. whatever I'm doing to. And then I took it a step further and I was like, I, I felt so passionate about it to the point where I was like, okay, I'm going to start a company dedicated to fixing that problem. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know it's, it's a huge problem. It's an epidemic yeah. around, I mean, across sports culture. So it's going to take some time to fix, but. And I commend you on. because it definitely, school doesn't really talk about that lack of preparation. Yeah. And there's one thing I was telling one of my friends when I graduated, a lot of my friends went straight into the career, mm -hmm. but they were able to intern. And that's right. a huge part of it right. because when you have 5 a.m. lift, when you have study hall, you don't have time. There's no time for an internship. Intern. So when no I graduated, time. now I'm doing a career that's out. I wanted to be a journalist, mm -hmm. and which is hence why I'm here. Right. <laughs> and I went to network, and they're like, where is your internships? Well, I'm like, I was an athlete. I didn't have time. Yeah. So speaking of um, people getting into school, there's a scandal. I don't know if you heard about it. The yeah. Hollywood, the college scam. Yeah. So how do you feel about that being that you worked your ass off? To go to school, get in, you and these rich. As well. Yes. Congrats. You Thank you. On that. Thank Absolutely. you. And these rich kids who are getting or paying schools to get them in and photoshopping their face on athletes like us. <laughs> Crazy. Um, I mean, again, I think <coughs> athletes. It's just another circumstance or example of athletes getting dealt the shorthand, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people see it differently they from the outside looking in people think like oh athletes get treated with 
this much leisure and mm -hmm. they get this privilege and that privilege and some of these privileges are true yeah. but the reality earned. of it is that <laughs> right the reality of it is that this stuff is earned yes. and mm -hmm. and um you know a lot of a lot of people that aren't really too fond of the athletic culture aren't really aware of what it takes for these athletes to to put in Absolutely. And so I, I still think that the whole situation that you're referring to is a little bit underlooked just by the, the people that I've been speaking to and the outlets that I've seen cover the topic. Yep. I don't think they, um, they dive deep enough yep. into how it affects the people that are actually putting in the work. Yeah. Yeah. I want a whole documentary because since we're doing documentaries right now about everything else in pop culture, mm. this needs to be completely highlighted. So I agree yeah. with you. And shame on you, Aunt Becky. But you, you know, you was, you was part of the scandal. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, you was on Full House. I'm so ashamed of you. Yeah, Uncle Jesse tried to go to the judge and say, yeah. have mercy. But it, didn't it, did, it, did, it didn't work. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, I know they had uh, at least five schools right now involved in the scandal. And I'm talking about, they, they were paying... Six point, up to $6.2 yeah. million. The, the dollars numbers is crazy. Yeah. Bribing. Why can't you just pay for school? That don't yes. even make that doesn't make sense to me. If you got that much money, you could just pay. Because if you got that much money, your kid doesn't need to go to school. He needs to be entrepreneur. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right, right, right. Business. You, you don't need business. college yeah, at that point. Ex exactly. There was one she father. She didn't go to college either. Then she turned out all right. That's but. what I'm saying. Right. There was one father, and this was I, I thought this was such a, such an egregious comment. He basically was laughing on the phone. They had like uh, transcripts. And mm -hmm. he was saying to, I think William Singer, who was the ringleader behind it, he was saying, um, oh, we're gonna tell the school USC that your son was a football player. And the guy on the phone was laughing because he's like, How's, how, how ironic, uh, his private school doesn't even have a football team. Mm -hmm. So like that's how deep this scam was, like making a football yeah. team. Like that's Just crazy. making up yeah, stories, that's, that's backgrounds, crazy. everything. Yeah. That's really crazy. So I thought that was sick. That's I heard something that they were on the road team or something like that on for mm -hmm. USC or whatever. I don't know if it was the same kid or what kid it was, but yeah. yeah. That's how I got my scholarship. I got. A, I'm gonna start next year. I put my face on, 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 on the one of Maxwell's like, dunks we, from the dunk contest last year, <laughs> and I actually got accepted. So I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna say the school right now because I won't put nobody on blast. But I'm gonna be you starting. You already put uh, the business out there. Right. Now. But they don't know the school. You know, I'm gonna be starting point guard. You know, they see my dunking skills. You know, because because you uh, uh, Maxwell, and uh, you know I'm in there now. So you know we here. What's gonna happen when they see you in the in person workout? I'm gonna get there. By that time, I'm in game shape. By that time, I'm in the gym. I'm back. I'm shooting, I'm shooting. I'm shooting 100 jump shots a day. All okay. that. You all know right. What I'm, saying? I'm here though, man. <laughs> but uh, but uh, Max, so I so seen. They saw you dunking in the Oreos in the they milk. They seen me. Right. Right. They seen my skills. Wow. They seen my skills. Wow. They, 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 they seen my skills. But um, wow. I seen I seen you doing a lot of community work as well. Yeah, I seen you uh, collecting the clothes and mm. doing all that stuff. Um, for, I know your schedule is crazy, but you still make time to... Yeah, to whenever I come home on break, I, I try to go every Thursday night. And then um, there was there was one point where I was home for, I think it was like a 10 or 11 day span. Mm. And I put something out on Instagram and Facebook. And then I had like a whole room full of donations worth. So that pretty much lasted me this whole, mm. this whole winter's worth. So I didn't really have to do another one of those because I had so many extra supplies and coats yeah. and stuff like that. So. Oh, that's, that's, that's definitely, y'all know how we feel about, right. uh, you know, community work and all that. Yeah. That's, we've been on our community uh, charity tour mm -hmm. for the past couple of years, so we definitely, um, we love that, especially, you know, when, I mean, because you're already out with the Globetrotters mm -hmm. and, and everything else that you got going on, so to come back and really still take your time, because people ain't giving their time. That's one thing, people throw money, yeah. Yeah. but the Absolutely. actual time yeah, yeah. is, you know, that's that's major. So I said that's a major thing. I, I just wanted to, to commend you, Thank you. Uh, on, on that one. So what's next for you? What is, I know the year just started, um, but what do you yeah. predict in your 2019? Um, I mean, this has actually been a big year. So uh, let me see, just last week, I, so did you guys get to see the dog video from October? That was on ESPN. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that one. So um, Infinity, the, the car company, is doing like a, a campaign with the NCAA for um, promotion for March Madness, I believe. So um, I just signed like a, an agreement, like a social media agreement with Infinity. Um, and it's going to incorporate that video and maybe two other dunk videos. 
Um, and then I'm not sure when that's going to be released. So are you going to be dunking over an infinity? No, 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 no. <laughs> I wish. Did they give you an infinity? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, I'm going to talk to you. You have a man sign that contract. Where's his car? He needs a car. Yeah, I should have negotiated. Yeah. Negotiate for a car, right? Listen, you want me taking Instagram photos in the car, you got to give me the car. You could always amend the contract. You better pull them up. Tell them, all right, tell them this. I'll dunk over the car, yep. but I get to keep the car after I dunk all right. over Listen, we got you. We got you. Back. I'm going to call the people at Infinity okay. and talk to them. And all right, cool, cool. All right? This trip knows everybody. All right. Listen, I, got, so I know somebody, know somebody, know somebody, all right? Come on, man. And then, um, so there's that. And then there's two other things that I can't get too much into detail about, mm. but it's 2K and and NBA Live 2019. Okay. Hold, so that, hold on to those till it's almost time. Right but those yeah. will come back to the show. Those will be the biggest yeah. feats. You better come back here to Oh, yeah, that. for sure. But you know that. Listen, you know this, right? So when you talk about some stuff here, then it just blow up and go crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, that's so when we go crazy. Since you're working with 2K, that means you, you got to try to come out to the 2K tournament this year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I we got to have go you there. The you know time. what I'm saying? Because I... We ain't gonna talk on air about what the what the you mm -hmm. know collab is, but mm -hmm. obviously we'll get into that another point. Mm -hmm. But you gotta be there now. Yeah, 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 for sure. So going in the ball and for peace, you wearing the crown, you walking in the building, people know your name now. <laughs> what, what's, yeah, no, they gonna, what's what, the theme music you gonna come out to? Is it gonna be the Jada Kiss, the champ is here, the, 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 the champ is here? Right. Honestly, <laughs> I'm coming in the way I came in last year. But you can't though. Nah, you, you can't, can't come in the same you way. Can't, you can't. Last year, we, we talked about this, you know, yeah. everybody's warming up, you kind of sizing up the competition, you seeing who else is there, but now everybody knows your name. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, you know, you're coming in late, you're not warming up in front of anybody. I'm it's like a closed too. gym. You know, you need, I'm down to, I'll get the props for you. Because you don't well, want to give away your dunk. Don't the, the, only, <laughs> the, only, the only props I'm bringing are a baseball mitt and a baseball. Oh, you're doing a baseball oh. mitt. Right. That one is tough. That one. That one is tough. I'm doing that one. That and one is then, real tough. There's yeah. two other Take ones. it down off your page before people see it, man. Take it's too one. late. <laughs> that one is tough, though. I want to buy swag. You need someone to throw in. some passes up uh, from the alley? <laughs> yeah, I, I actually, I'm, I'm going to need to figure out who can uh, who can make the baseball toss, but... That's, cool. that's, that's yeah. all right. Oh my goodness. Yo, you got me hyped up right I now. I got you on Nah, the, the, the glove joint is tough. That's when yeah. you put up the, the videos. That was one of the ones that I liked as well. That's all. Thank you, bro. Mm -hmm. that's it. Yo, man, you just got so many amazing dunks. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know what the other guys can do. Um, I know. First of all, shout out to everybody that's been submitting uh, mm -hmm. dunk videos to be a part of this year's dunk contest. Um, there's a couple of cats that send in stuff that I, I think are really good. Um, but they got, you guys, yo, you got a ladder that you got to climb. So I'm letting you know now. You better be in the gym every day working on your best dunks, whatever new dunks you got, stuff that we ain't never seen before because this man right here is coming to, <laughs> to coming play ball. He's not letting go of his title that easily. So I would advise you guys to come with your best. Come, I, need, I need a combination of Vince Carter, Jordan, uh, <laughs> Josh Smith, okay, and Zach Levine all in one if you're going to beat this man. I'm just letting y'all know right now. Basically, don't show up. There. Basically, don't show up. <laughs> yeah, oh, saying. wait, we don't need the, the, the competition. Now, <laughs> somebody got to show up. You scaring him away, yeah. right? I'm just, well, he's scaring him away. I don't even do nothing. They see his Instagram and it's over. All right? You you had also a weekend this year, right? Yeah. You, you did the event with Steph. Yeah. How was that? That was, that was one of the best events that I've ever been to. <laughs> Today's his birthday, actually. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's birthday. right. That's right. Yes, it is. Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, Steph. But um, that was the Under Armour dunk contest slash his um, reopening of the Carol Hefner Center, which is like a community center that he used to play at when he was younger. Mm -hmm. um, so he put all his money into it. He renovated it. Um, so Under Armour, I guess, is, is a big part of that renovation. So they had um, Steph. Steph's whole family was uh, judging the contest. Then they had uh, B-Dot there, T-Jazz. Um, Lil Yachty performed. Um, who else was there? Dennis Smith Jr. was there. Um, so it, it was it was a really cool event. Nice. But then um, you know the rest the rest of All Star Weekend was definitely fun. I met a lot of league players, retired league players. But the dunk contest was just a disappointment to me. It's, and and it was, it was you ironic. Asking, did you feel like watching the dunk contest? Like, like I was excited because this this was, this was the there, first like, time. Let me do this. Yeah, I mean, I always, I always kind of feel like that, like watching, but like, th this was the first time that I've been there in person, like to yeah. actually see the NBA dunk contest. Yeah. 
and I'm impressed. Disappointed. Yeah, I, I they just only have four competitors this year too. I think I think they should raise it to either six or eight, kind of change around the structure yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. and we uh, so I don't think they had four last year. I think this. There year was one year there where it was eight. Yeah, and well, it so was, we, we need to get back to that. Usually a lot more. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, I mean, we, we just need the too. big stars to get back into it, though. A lot of the big name guys don't want to compete in it. True, and that's what we want to see. True, yeah. and but but ironically, like like Dennis Smith Jr., I think he's one of the best dunkers in the NBA. He just he just couldn't get it down, right. and yeah. and the the yeah. number of attempts that it was taken was was kind of hurting. Fire. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But if he got on the first or the second try, it would have been. Yeah. No problem, but it was just the the, other thing, the attempts. I don't like the scoring. I think they should like eliminate one, like have three dunks and eliminate one of them and take the top oh, yeah. two scores. Because mm -hmm. you know yeah. when it, when it came to the finals, getting screwed by missing a dunk or whatever, and that's yeah. it's over. And yeah, when, and it's kind of punishing you for trying something that complicated. Mm -hmm. You know, so we we had something where we we wanted to do. I'm gonna talk to my guys over at the NBA and see if we can get this done. Where we had, you know, we'd have a competition for one outside dunker to be a part of the dunk mm -hmm. contest. And I yeah. think, you yeah. know, that would be something that's crazy because then you could really find out the best dunker in the in the world, really. Right, you know, right, every, for sure. Know, they're gonna come to this dunk contest. Mm -hmm. But I think yeah. something like that, especially for guys like like you, you know, got a couple of the N one guys that mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. crazy dunkers. For sure, I think yeah. That's the only thing that's gonna really spice Spice's in the dunk contest because we've seen yeah. everything at this point. Uh -huh. Yeah, for sure. I think an another thing that hurt this year's NBA contest was the injury of Derrick Jones Jr. Mm -hmm. because he, uh, I personally think he would have won. Well, he, got, um, he caught that, uh, but that one uh, recently. We could go yeah. up top. Okay, he just he came back. Hops. Yeah. He, yeah, he, he's ridiculous. He's, he's ridiculous. Now, but I thought the Diallo joint was tough, though. The, the, oh, yeah. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, like, I don't think, I don't think the dunks were necessarily bad, mm -hmm. but I just think the number of attempts right. was just really draining because yeah. If you see somebody attempt to dunk three times, then you already know what to expect. Right. Except, especially if they get close yeah. the first three times, then it's like it, you're not going to get much of a different reaction if the ball goes in versus rattling out, rattling right. out. You know what I'm saying? It takes away the wow factor. But, uh, guys, it's about that time. Uh, Maxwell, we definitely appreciate you coming out. We're going to have some more stuff coming up uh, with, with Max in the upcoming weeks. Make sure you guys get ready for him to defend his title at Balling for Peace. For myself, Trip Young, Mark the Statman, Skevich, Eric Sanchez, and Marie, Ladybug, and of course, Maxwell Pierce and Dino Money. we see you guys next week, man. We out of here. We out. Face facts, what up, what up? Real fans, real talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond, Trick Young, and intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. <laughs> Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Hey, hey. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. Uh -huh. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first. Uh -huh. I'm talking about the latest, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the greatest. Yeah, yeah. Go check out the art. Even tell a neighbor, tell him Bobby sent ya. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out, but real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Uh, real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Talk. 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 Talk.